Good afternoon. My name is Sherry Posdale. I'm Youth Ministry Coordinator here at Queen of Peace. I think a lot of you know who I am. I've been Youth Ministry Coordinator for 22 years here, and I am pretty excited about a new adventure that God is calling me to. I actually have no idea what that adventure is, but last December, um, in my discernment process, I knew that this should be my last year um, in youth ministry. So with, through all of those prayers and through all of the discussion with Dave, um, we determined that it was time for me to move on. And even though it was a scary thought, and I have loved every single minute of my 22 years as youth ministry coordinator and working with our middle school and high school youth, um, I am pretty excited about what the future will hold for me. And I'm extra, extra excited about the idea that um, I know who will be taking my place, and I'm pretty excited about that. Um, we've been friends and co-workers for a long time, and I think that she is, even though she might be a little bit nervous right now, I think she is just going to be an awesome transition for Queen of Peace. We are very, very blessed. Um, to have such a wonderful staff here at Queen of Peace, and I look forward to continuing to work with the parish as a volunteer in youth ministry, background for doing some fundraising for youth ministry, and just seeing what God has in mind for me for what's going to happen after this. So I'm still going to be your youth minister here until August 31st, and then starting September 1st, I want to introduce you to our new youth minister coordinator and Lori, take it over. <laughs> uh, my name is Lori Martino and I may look familiar um, for the past seven years I have taught fourth grade right here at Queen of Peace Catholic School. Um, so I have a huge love already for Queen of Peace. Uh, after about 18 years in the teaching profession uh, and a lot of prayer, I felt God calling me to not teach but of course you know sometimes god gives you a, a little bit of a push but he doesn't show you the whole plan so i didn't really know what he was going to ask me to do um, but i took the leap anyway um, and so being out of a job i got to go to daily mass on a weekday um, and i walked in and father tim said you're retiring what are you going to do now and i said you know i don't really know and I went and I knelt down and then I saw Father Tim come up, stand right beside me, and he whispered, have you thought about being the youth ministry coordinator? And I said, no, absolutely not, not for me. Continued my prayer after mass, Sherry came up to me and said, have you thought about being the youth ministry coordinator? And I said, no, absolutely not, not for me. Um, and after daily mass a few more times, father and um, Sherry kind of chatting with me and I kept saying no um, and during adoration I knelt down in front of the Blessed Sacrament and I, and I gave um, God I just gave it to him and I said why would you do this to me I, I this is not what I'm gonna do I don't want to do this I, I have no experience I don't know what to do and God um, shut me up very quickly by saying what makes you think this has anything to do with you so then I said, oh, okay, I, I'll get out of the way and I'll let the Holy Spirit do what the Holy Spirit does. So I told Father, let's do this thing. Um, I don't know what this thing is right now because um, of all of the weirdness going on, uh, all of the changes, the social distancing, all that kind of stuff. Um, I don't know what youth ministry is going to look like come September 1st. Um, I will tell you, I would love for there to be an in-person piece. Um, I, I know I'm missing community, and I feel that um, kids are also. So I would like to, if we are allowed to, um, with all our social distancing and face masks and all of those procedures in place, be able to do um, uh, some kind of in-person program, but also to offer the same thing um, online. So that wherever your comfort level is, um, your child will still be able um, to get some catechesis. Um, I think this is the time we always need God, but especially now, um, and so we don't want that piece just to kind of wait for a vaccine. Um, we want to offer it to you now, whatever way works for you. Um, I guess look at the, in the bulletin, um, check the website when things are 
finalized, that's where we'll um, be publishing it. Um, you can contact Sherry, um, and I will be getting an email, so myself also. Um, and I ask that you pray for me, and you pray for the youth program, and our youth, and all youth, end of the coronavirus, world peace, whatever, just pray. <laughs> um, and uh, exciting time, scary time, but exciting time. So it's all good. It's all good. Yeah. We could blow it up. Yeah. <laughs>